Yeah. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Can some fly in Alaska on the wall you con or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the beautiful Yellowstone National Park. We know there's some great fish out here. We're here with Larry Hardy. We're expecting to have, just have a... <laughs> Come on, fish with Latin. Got one. It's a good fish. Maybe about a 13, 14 incher, but still it's fun. It's not bad. Not a bad one at all. Yeah, it's right out of that little pocket right there, right on the inside edge. There's been one rising, ooh, in that little slow water there. And, uh, but this one came out a little faster water. It's not a huge one, but it's got a lot of good fight in it. All right, guy, come on in. Feisty little guy. Feisty little guy. Yeah. All right. Took the hopper. All right. Tell you, a feisty guy coming out of this fast water. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning right now. Probably, I don't know, about 10 or 11 ish. I love the small stream fishing here. Um, you can wade this little creek, you can fish it wherever you want. It's just a lot of fun. Bison wallow in the dirt to deter biting flies. When they weren't biting the bison, they were biting us. This buffalo are all over in this valley. You can see them behind us. and They're kind of pointing towards us coming this way. So we're going to scoot back off the river a little bit, give them some space. So. You got a nymph under that? I do, yeah. Just went down, but I don't know if it was It did, drag. I did it. Oh, I think I saw a fish rise in the middle. There's one. Yes. <laughs> nice, Steve. He actually took the nymph, I think. Boy, he came up out of there after the hop. Maybe he came after the nymph, though. So I've, I've got my nymph just about six inches under the hopper, and it's on the nymph, so. Cool. Like an emerging bug, you know. Boy, it's a good fighting fish. Looks like a good fish, Steve. It's decent, it's not, not huge, but it's a nice trout. Oh, there's a fish right here. Wow. Swimming along. He's going following that one, look at him. Took the pheasant tail, huh? Yeah. You want me to net him? Yeah, go ahead. <sighs> Got him. Thank you. This is Steve's little cutthroat here he just caught. Not so little. Steve. Oh, nice, nice fish. Yeah, you caught a good one there. Yeah, thanks Right for at the bottom of the riffle there? Yeah, you know, it's actually right in the heavy stuff oh, oh, where really? you see that rock up there. Yeah. It was just down from that in that heavy riffle where he came oh. up out. I saw this dark body come out and take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And he, I thought he was going after the hopper, but he, he took the nymph. Very nice. Yeah, cool. Beautiful trout. Yeah. Thanks for netting it. Thank you. All right. This bald eagle was keeping a close watch on the valley. There we go. That's a good one. Fish on. He took it. Nice, Larry. Cool. Nice. Boy, he's a good fighter. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's a bummer. I horsed him a little too much, I think. Oh, that's a, that's a horse. Wow, Larry. <laughs> what a fish. All right. Let, let me know if you'd like me to net that bruiser for you, too. 
you know, why don't you do that, lad? That way I can steer him toward the shore. Yeah. I think that's just the safer bet. Try to go in stealthy like. Okay. Try to get his nose up. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it's a monster. <laughs> that is a huge cut. Wow. Beautiful little fish. Nice. There you go, buddy. Big fish. Oh, nice job, man. Larry. Thanks. Woo. Thank you. Yeah, well, you worked hard man. for that fish. I was glad to be able to net it. Yeah, I was just, I didn't want to horse that thing because yeah. I lost one that way a few minutes ago. So. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, just fish. trying to get him in quick so he can release him. Yeah. Good job. He was a big one. Oh, boy. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Our setup that we've been using that we've found has been successful as a Moorish hopper. That uh, is our top fly. And then we got a dropper with a little pheasant tail nymph, in this case, a little green flashback pheasant tail nymph. And the distance between anywhere from six inches to about two feet. Ooh. Yeah, holy smokes. Wow. Gosh, gotta keep pressure on him. He's just coming right at me. That is weird. This came right at me hard. Oh yeah, it's a Mongo. Shoot! Yeah, I really worked hard for that fish. And I just put it right up against that bank and a big old mongo trout came after it. No, oh, that's disappointing. Oh, so disappointing. That was a beautiful fish. Yeah, it was. Cool <sighs> bank right against the bank. Yeah, too. that was. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Dang it. But okay. I'm trying not to throw tantrums. Try not to. Darkness was closing in. One minute. One minute to catch a fish. How's that? Oh, I got one. <laughs> it's weird. I was going up to move upstream to cast, uh -huh. and then it must have been dragging the fly. And it hit it on the drag when I was just dragging up that calm water. Oh, shoot. Why do they always come right at me? Oh, it's a beauty. Beauty. Not, not Steve size beauty, <laughs> but a good one. Shoot. Good. Well, that's a good one Nothing still. Nothing wrong with that one. That's cool. I got it. Yes. Woo, nice yes. cut throat. <laughs> wow, that rarely happens. You say one minute to fish and start dragging it up. It's gorgeous cut. Look at that guy. It's like the length of the net. <laughs> right at the end of the day here, you know, we're losing light. I hope that fish showed up. But again, I was just casting against sh the shore and I thought, oh, this isn't working. So I'm going to move upstream, not even casting it, dragging it up. And that's when that fish hit. Mm. We've been seeing some mayflies hatching out here, so we decided to put on this parachute atoms. And that's what caught that fish. You know, it's the craziest thing. You cast like crazy, trying to make perfect casts along the bank. You do that for about 20 minutes. Then you decide to leave the spot and move upstream, drag the fly behind you. That's when it hits. Go figure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show from beautiful Soda Butte Creek here in Yellowstone Park. I know we had a great time. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Latin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin. Because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.